Hello, this is Vang for Pitcam. I'm here with uh, Ryan and Joel from Airborne. G'day, how are you? How are you? Hello. How are you You've got a new album out uh, very soon yeah. in October. The name is uh, Bone Shaker. It's the fifth album. And, uh, it's real. <laughs> and uh, you work with uh, a Grammy Award winning producer, Dave Cobb. How was that? Really great. Uh, he's uh, definitely worthy of all his Grammys, and uh, he was just like he's a really good guy. Like he's just he really gets our band. He's a rock and roller through and through, which you might not expect with all the country uh, success that he's had in you know his whole career. But man, he's a rocker, and he really got the best out of the band, and knew how to fit in with us, knew how to communicate in our own with the way that we are. But uh, our whole thing was. <laughs> Was that was, was it, um, the, uh, going into the record? We really like the sound of Alberts, mm -hmm. which is a famous uh, studio in, in Australia, uh, record company, and uh, from, particularly from the 70s, the mid to, to late 70s, and we knew he was the guy to help us capture that. Mm -hmm. um, he also did, I think he also did uh, the Oscar winning film uh, Star is Born with Lady Gaga. The Star is Born, the Star is Airborne. <laughs> We're definitely not stuff. Um, we're more like just um, yeah, just I don't know, little, little rocks, just little rocks on the ground. And get kicked around. And no one cares about. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, but he, he yeah he did a big Star Is Born thing, and um, you know it's uh it's pretty mega. Yeah. But he's still rock and roll, so. He's still yeah. rock and roll. He's still rock and roll. Um, so apparently you did the, the whole recording like a live gig, is that true? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. you set it up like uh, Led Zeppelin recorded the whole Led Zeppelin 2 album, Yeah. I believe. And um, and uh, yeah, and then you can hear the bleed on the record, you mm -hmm. know, you need all these little mistakes and things that we made. As we were trying to figure out the song, what we were playing, he was recording the whole time and, and like some of those takes, mo actually most of those takes is what, what ended up getting on the record as the take. Much to our surprise, it ended up sounding not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, so the vision was like uh, doing it in the 70s, uh, but um, you as a musician, uh, aren't you like uh, really pissed when something went wrong because it's the whole thing going through? Oh, well, that was that we intentionally kept <clears throat> a lot of the mistakes to the point where, I mean, I, I remember saying to Cobb, I said, mate, we, look, listen to that bit, like you can't keep that. Yeah. And he goes, it's rock and roll. And yeah. I went, he goes, go to the kitchen, have a beer. I was like, oh, oh drums are done. <laughs> the drums are done. <laughs> the drums are done. <laughs> drums are done. Um, what do you say about, I mean, uh, the, last, uh, the last song on the album is Rock and Roll for Life. Really cool song now. Um, what do you say about rock and roll is dying? Because uh, uh, lots we of say rock and roll's life. Well, that's what we say. That's what we do. That's what we believe. Someone says rock and roll's life. So it's a lot of It's literally, literally where we live. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you have ten songs. <laughs> you have ten songs on the new album, uh, and it's uh, thirty minutes only. For, yep. for an album that, yep. that's quite short. So yeah. Punch in the face. Yeah, it's, it's you know, good yeah. old fashioned, quick punch in the face record. Um, and that's what's great about it, you know. I think it works with today's world as well, you know. It seems to. Fast paced world, fast paced record. No beating around the bush. No beating around the bush. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's got rhythm and uh, it's got flames. Wow. And it's good for, for airplay. And then, for and, the time. And, and, no one's, and there's no Manilow on it. No metal. No, no, uh, Manilow, Barry Manilow. <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> reference, I just, re I just reference uh, four thing, four or five things from Hole to Hell because it's the fortieth anniversary. So I was just, okay. I was just doing that for the reason of doing that, <laughs> and uh, I've done myself in a bit of a hole there. But the point is that it is a fast paced record because we don't want to waste anyone's time. Much like an airborne live show, it's all of our energy all at once, and okay. that's all you get. All stacks, no tracks. All stacks and no tracks. But what's your in. favorite song from the new album? Uh, Bone Shaker, uh, uh, This Is Our City, Burnout Nitro. Backseat Boogie is a good one. Yeah, Backseat Boogie. All of them. All of them. If, if we didn't like one of them, it wouldn't be on there. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. be on there. It would just be one song record, <laughs> and then it would be really short. Are you kind of nervous still when you uh, you are doing uh, a new song for the first time oh, in life? Yeah, it's not... It's, it's kind of not nervous. It's more like, oh, fuck, I hope I don't fuck up. I hope I don't fuck up. But if I do, well... <laughs> It's the same way we recorded the record. We fucked up and it got recorded mm. in some of the songs. Yeah. Like there's bits where someone will stop playing a guitar for a whole section 
Which one? Uh, Switchblade Angel. Yeah. I think Harry just jumps out there because he's like, because we're all looking at each other playing, and he's like, oh, what are we doing here? <laughs> and, then, and he's like, oh, it comes back in, and then it sort of helps yeah. rock the track. And I did the same thing in a solo in that song. I went like that on the guitar. And I'm, going, I'm looking at Cobb. He's like, keep going. I'm going, oh. <laughs> and keep playing, you know, and then so we fucked up bits when we were playing, but they, mm-hmm. weren't, they were good accidents that have become the song. Yeah. Yeah. So to play it live, if we mess something up, we just sort of, if it's, if it's something like really bad, like... Like real out of tune something, then it's like, well, that's they can't get around that. But like, if it's something that's we've added to the song, yeah. then that's the live version of the song. Yeah. So they're kind of living, changing things. So that what's on the record is that version of the song, even though we're, we're going to try and play the same thing that we've played live. And we did a pretty good job with Bone Shaker, getting pretty close to the mark at Wacken in front of ninety thousand people. Yeah, yeah it was fun. There's a lot of people there, so if we fuck this up, there's a lot of YouTube cameras ready to go. Mm, airborne shit, and then, uh, but no, I think we got through that one all right. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, we okay. we were, we're I think we're releasing that as a special edition. What goes through your mind when you are on a show like Bakken and you have like ninety thousand people in front of you? Are you like shitting your pants, or are you drinking something to to get through it? Oh no, no, we're just we're more like right. There's a ninety thousand people. Here, there's a lot of people here. Let's try and get every single one of them to rock with us, mm-hmm. and if we can, we know they'll have a great time. You know, they get their money's worth, and you know, and everyone at the end of the day just forgets about the world and only thinks about doesn't even think actually just rocks along with the band. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was the fourth time that you were on Wacken and it was uh, the most biggest crowd you've ever played on in front of or have you Wacken played? Wacken's one of the biggest, probably the biggest. Um, yeah, um, well we, we closed it after Judas Priest once, it was night time so you couldn't see as far back, but it, every time it's generally been that, yeah. that, that many mm. people um, and it's, it's really weird, it's like it's always great to play that because it's its own kind of festival, it's sort of... Personally, I sort of I find it as meditation. It's yeah, really, really, <laughs> really, it's really peaceful. Like it's hey guys, I'm just coming to meditate, right? Just everyone's listening. Just so many people. It just it's, it's, it's I don't know. Yeah, it's cool. It's a good feeling. Really good feeling. Do you have uh, um, festivals like that on in Australia? <laughs> no, I think the closest is about twenty thousand people. Twenty thousand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that getting more? <laughs> is that all it was? Oh, jeez. Do you have a ritual before you go on stage? Uh, uh, no real rituals, just uh, just, nah. just just get out of bed and get on stage. <laughs> Honestly, it was like, oh fuck, what time is it? Oh shit, gotta go on stage. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, yeah. oh I'm trying to rock. And then you get out there and you play and re rock, and then then you get off stage and go, oh geez, well, what, that was that was a bit hard. <laughs> um, so, what do you prefer personally, uh, playing on a festival stage or doing your own tour? Um, we love it all. <coughs> They're all got different things about them. You know, there's obviously the festivals are big and that we're, we're turning more people onto the band and the people that haven't seen the band before. Mm-hmm. You know, like um, there might be some people that like sometimes we get put on a pop festival, which is weird, but we <laughs> end up out there but and we'll be on there and we'll come out and they won't expect us and we, we'll stick out like dog's balls and there'll be people like in the crowd just with their fingers in their ears going, eh, like running off crying and then other people going, <laughs> Oh, this is rocking, you know. Sort of, we come out and napalm the crowd a bit, and then, yeah. uh, but then of course, you know, the big heavy metal festivals and the big rock and roll festivals. Yeah. Sometimes I've been put on festivals that are primarily about full on, like thrash, like hardcore, most hardcore metal. Where like the smell of backstage smells like rotten, rotting carcasses, and bands are tipping blood what, on their heads. What? Carcasses. What is that? Like a ro- dead animals. Oh, okay. And then like bands are coming out with blood all over them, and then we're, we're like, oh geez, like <laughs> this is like a, we're just like bloody skinny, pasty white Australians, skinny like, and we've got no blood, we've got no bloody tattoos or anything. We're coming yeah, out. Are the carcasses? Like the bands from Norway. Yeah, like are they, they going to sacrifice? We're we're, we're 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 the lambs to the slaughter. We're going to get sacrificed here. And, burning churches. Yeah, and they're coming out with heavy sort of stuff, and we're going. <laughs> Yeah. Then the next, like the next, the next day, we could be doing a complete pop festival. Yeah, we're the only guys with music with music musical instruments. Really? Yeah. Yeah, like they'll come out and dance around. Like we've done like DJ and like hip hop festivals where we're the only band. Yeah, like oh the band God. on us before is, is a DJ, so he's got like a, a USB stick, and he comes out and he's doing a little dance around. He's got his like his hat down here like this. So he's like, <laughs> <laughs> just doing that all the time. Oh, wow. Just the and whole then, 90 minutes of yeah, that. Yeah, he's doing that. And then we come out with all the stats going, yeah! 
and then uh, and then the next person comes on and like it's the same sort of. Mm-hmm. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird, but like <laughs> we're here to play. Fuck it, here we go. Like, uh, yeah. hope you like volume. Cause it's gonna be loud. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's good that it, there is still yeah. rock and roll in it. Um, on the world tour, you're on the world tour since since uh, end of August, uh, and apparently for two and a half years. Uh, so you're not going home at all in two and a half years. Oh, just to the globe. Two and a half years. <laughs> it's like a big... That's what the label. Yeah, no, no, yeah. So, I don't know. Well, we visit home yeah. a few ways. <laughs> yeah, we're going. We're going to Mars. Actually, we're going to go to tour of Mars and Jupiter, and then yeah, we'll be back. Uh, well, we got we got uh, Alice. Is that, yeah, Alice Cooper tour in February in Australia. Mm-hmm. So, um, Alice Cooper, yeah. And then, yeah, we'll be back. We'll, Shock Rock, the we'll adventure of Shock Rock. Leave in March and then all through next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're going really everywhere. Yeah. Yep. yep. Just like the Johnny Cash song, I've been everywhere, man. I've <laughs> that one. 